All right, you guys have started asking, so I'm here to help provide answers. One of the first comments I got was from this lovely person who's asking about how to have anger feel safer, uh, especially towards those people that were supposed to love them and didn't. When people discuss an emotion feeling unsafe, they typically mean one of two things. Either one, they don't feel safe feeling that emotion, or two, they don't trust themselves to act in safe ways when feeling that emotion. There could be something else as well, and I'm not sure what it is for this person, but let's talk about both. Anger is a secondary emotion. I mentioned this in another TikTok. It is a reaction to a primary emotion, most often pain or fear. And remember, things like grief is painful. First thing you need to do is realize there's another emotion going on, or several. The second thing to know about anger is that it is an active emotion. It's designed to spur you to action. It's often used as a defense mechanism to protect you. So first things first, you have to build a relationship with that anger in a safe way. This is where therapy comes in. When you stop running from suppressing or trying to hide that anger, instead learn how to sit with it, engage with it, and actually feel it, it becomes less scary, you become more safe, and you start to have some progress. The hardest part is being able to get past the curtain of anger to the emotion behind it that your brain is trying to protect you from. That's where a lot of the heavy lifting comes in. Now what about when anger doesn't feel safe because we don't trust ourselves to act in safe ways? Again, this is where therapy comes in because what you wanna do is identify how you've been trained and taught to cope with that anger. Yes, this can mean violence. The people that become violent or act out or internalize and self-harm when they're angry, it still stems back to they haven't been taught how to have a relationship with that anger. They're just desperate to get some relief from it. But while you want things like safety plans and building healthy coping skills to deal with the anger, give yourself boundaries and to ensure that you make good decisions, it still boils down to you cultivating a relationship with that anger, learning to honor it and not fear it, building trust within yourself. And the first step that I say is to sit down with it and ask it, what are you angry about? That often pulls you right into what you're really feeling. Make sure to have some Kleenex nearby. You can do this.